Thought for the day, Thursday, the 23rd of December. O Emmanuel, our King and Lawgiver, the desire of all the nations and their Saviour, come and save us, O Lord our God. For several years, I've avoided the lure of recording myself on YouTube. After many years of exposing myself to the possibility of questions and comments every time I mounted the pulpit steps, I shouldn't have been afraid. But it wasn't quite me, and you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Then, of course, we had lockdown. And after a short online course, I ventured into broadcasting, making lots of mistakes along the way, but learning as I went along. The intention was to worship with and be present with the congregations of St. Mary's and St. Faith's in their homes while they couldn't attend worship in the church itself. YouTube very helpfully tells you how many people watch the recordings. And it later became apparent I was also broadcasting to America, India, Lancashire, and even Cambridge. I don't know who most of these people are, but I'm happy that they wanted to be part of my online congregation. This Advent, I've been able to involve my colleagues, Bill, Denise, Peter, Paula, Joyce, and some guests. Our area dean, Andrew Stott, Archdeacon Pete Spears, the Dean of Liverpool Cathedral, Sue Jones, and Bishop Paul, who will be delivering our last message on Christmas Eve. I would like to thank them all. They too have been with you as you have been with them. But after long periods of lockdown, I think we all realize that when we gather together safely, the best thing ever is to be in the same room as someone else. Being in the same world as someone else is an even bigger step. Emmanuel means God with us. On Christmas Day, we celebrate God's incarnation in a tiny child, in a stable with a mother and a father, with those shepherds who would have been strangers, with the innkeeper and, of course, the animals. I always find the humility of God, the creator of the universe, amazing. Lovely verse that Canon Trevor Dennis drew my attention to many years ago. Blessed art thou, O Christmas child, put thy cradle so low that shepherds, poorest and simplest of earthly folk, could yet kneel beside it and look level-eyed into the face of God. <laughs>